Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Alone in the Dark. Now, as you are probably no doubt aware, in the previous episode I had some trouble opening yonder safe. Now, I had this distinct suspicion that I was lacking some information. And in a way I was correct. We have this important clue. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by the ones who live in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best keep the papers safe. What is left? Later is right, and hell is back again. So I had the distinct impression that the combination for safe was a number to the left, a number to the right, so a number to the left, number to the right, and then back again towards the left. I also, <laughs> at one point towards the end of the video, said, I wonder if it's to do with the number of letters in the word. What is a four-letter word? Later is a five-letter word, and hell is a four... Oh, no, that won't do. They wouldn't go back to the first one again, would they? Despite that it says back again. Now, earlier this afternoon, I asked a friend to look for me, do a little research in a non-spoilerific manner, and let me know if opening the safe involved getting some information I did not have. And he was able to inform me that actually, this cupboard down here, the one that contained the note, has the combination written on the bottom after you pull out the note and it's visible if you look into the cupboard. And because for some reason reloading the save has caused this cupboard door to be closed and inoperable and also has caused the additional bullets from the table that I was unable to pick up because the machine gun was already at full capacity to disappear completely, he decided to tell me the free number combination. And the free number combination is 4 to the left, 5 to the right, 4 to the left again. Which means, ironically, I'd solved the puzzle in the previous episode, but was seriously overthinking it. But let's go a little step further, shall we? If... I was extremely frustrated. I could go to options, go to gameplay, and change player guidance to modern. Text highlighting, map highlighting, dynamic objectives, reveal interactive points. Okay. I look around the room. There's nothing different. The cabinet is not highlighted. But when I go to the inventory and examine this, the word what? What? Later and Hell are all in bold and white to make it extremely obvious there is something about these words I should be paying attention to. A four-letter word, a five-letter word, and another four-letter word. Let's go turn that off because I don't want to be subjected to that at all. Right? I'd rather enjoy the game the way I have so far. So let's go and open this. So, if we go all the way around to number four. What is later? No, what is left? Later is right. And hell is right back again. The Cargo Manifest. Let's examine this. Cargo Manifest on September 19th, 1892. 
Black Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. So we appear to have number 13, Gallatin Street. Also, it turns out that Paregsd was the name of a villain from the original first game. It was his surname. But now we have information and a combat heavy area full of objects to be thrown. Give me implication I will be fighting here at some point, or there's a high chance I could be fighting here at some point. This is it. The address to the theater where Jeremy first met the dark man. This entire area, see even right there. Maybe I should sneak. Now, I did not need to fight on the way in. I may not need to fight on the way out again, but if I must return here at some point, that could be when the combat is likely to occur. Okay, I'm crouching. I'm hiding. I don't have my flashlight turned on. I can still hear the danger music and the sound of creatures outside, which I believe are the two creatures that chase me down to the sewer lurking somewhere outside this building. I do not know if I will be able to depart via another way, or if I will have to return down back through the sewers. If I'm going to fire the machine gun, it's best fired from a standing position and not a crouching position. I imagine I will stop trying to sneak if I... wait. Look at that. There is something wrong with the shadows down there through that hole. There was a flickering, a flickering darkness. Again, we have an increased sense of danger due to all the projectiles placed within easy reach. I'm not sure I remember that slight fog around the sewer entrance. Oh. There we go. And a break. Are you gonna die now? Not quite. There. That's really the first time I've done that. I still hear danger. I see the danger. I do not feel very safe. I also feel that one bullet right... I almost want to fire that one bullet just to get a reload so that I won't have the confidence of a reload of just one bullet later on after I've reloaded. Because I can put 19 more bullets in the gun and just have one in my inventory. There were more bullets in here 
which I could have picked up if I had not saved the game and gone to bed last night. Oh well. Yeah, I think I'll just have to reload it and hope to pick up some more. That was clearly designed for me to use in that situation. But hopefully I'll get more reloads soon. At least the door is open, so I don't need to go down into the sewer unless I wish to. I'm half expecting there to be loot on these dead bodies for me to pick up, but I know that's not quite how this game works. So I have chewed through some 39 machine gun bullets there. That's a pretty unhealthy number to have blasted through now. I believe this is the front of the building. And I know there's a couple more monsters around here that I could defeat. That might pursue me if not. And it looks like looks I'm like going the to have to... Up. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to head out there. But I know there was a weapon back here. They don't want to let me go this way. Oh, that's interesting. So I think the fog isn't letting me go back in the sewer either, so it's just cut me off completely from this area of the docks here. Forcing me to go on. Well, this does not feel safe at all. Be careful, Emily. There's a fly crawling on the screen near your head and it's distracting me. A very small fly at that. Small fly, small fright. Now, what we want to do, obviously, is find a road sign. It would be extremely convenient if this was already Gallatin Street. And perhaps the reason why this company made such a big deal of their funding this event is that they were like right next door. It was on their doorstep. It does indeed seem as if we are intended to not go in either direction along the road, but maybe through that little gate there. What is this place? It does look very fancy, and like the kind of place where an Egyptian might be. With those sort of Art Nouveau pseudo-Egyptian designs around the doorway. However, there's also this. Am I going to find out that... Witness for Black Pharaoh. Well, I found a Lagni app. Lots of hiring notices again. What's this? It's empty, that's what it is. A bottle I can't interact with, but looks like I'm supposed to be able to throw it at things. A healing bottle, already at full. How's my health? Not at full. We'll fix that. That's a lot of birds. On the wall here. I hear a slight growl, as if there's a monster nearby. I don't want to go into the fog, but I want to just check it's a cart. Alright then. It would appear I have reached my destination. And it was, as I suspected, remarkably close nearby. If 
that's a very bright, warm light. Warm no more. What's that? American artisan? Got nice paintings on the wall. A still life. Another fountain pen, dis casually discarded. Not sure what that box is. Nothing here for us, I'm afraid. Well then, let us continue. Oh, is this going to be the first of the theatrical Lagniap? No, the heart would curse. Okay then. While it would be fun to go in gung ho with a machine gun, I feel a little discretion is rather more appropriate here. I also feel that entering into this location ought to fill me with dread. The music has become more serene and calming, but also a sort of lurking presence in the music. A lull. But, ooh. That curtain is moving as if there's a wind behind it. Like a, a window. Slightly ajar. Or just a crack in the window frame. So it does look actually as if there may be a central window there and these curtains that frame the lights are odd. Now, Emily. We can fully expect some kind of sarcophagus and the dark man to appear and cast us back out of this location. But if so, what are we going to do here? Additionally, I'd like to point out that currently the game has been very on the rails. It has lacked any significant choices, well, any significant narrative decisions that feel as if they give the player urgency, or agency, rather. <laughs> There's been urgency, don't get me wrong. And that's okay for the kind of story being told. But it has begun to feel as if soon choices might be made. And if there's... I do understand there's a possibility of multiple endings for each character. Oh, here we go. Then at some point, something's going to have to be done that will affect which ending is achieved. You shouldn't have come. Don't say that. You needed my help. He said that before. All I wanted was to keep people away from Dissetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at Dersetto. To get rid of me! That's the only reason anyone's at Dersetto. True. Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Help me get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, mm. to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know? That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Oh, are we going to a lighthouse next? Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great-uncle died, we stopped going back. What is there to be done about the Dark Man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The Dark Man has been with me since I was 12 years old. He was standing right on that stage right over there. Mm. For a brief moment, his gaze held mine. And that was it. 
I recognized him for what he was. The heart with Kais embodied in flesh. Kais? I thought it was my turn. <laughs> but I was only there to be mocked. Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. The widest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. Oh dear. What can be done, Jeremy? Please. There's a way. Two ways to be exact. Mm -hmm. One worse than the other. A written contract now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> I don't want to. Try, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let Norman suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan He's said something. Ah! Get out, girl. Leave now. Okay, so there is a way to break the pact, at least. Hidden somewhere inside the Dark Man's temple. I just need to find it. Somehow. But there's something over here, and it's all bad. Right, before I interact with this, let's see if it looks like an object I should be picking up. Uh, artist palette, no. So, I am finding it somewhat hard to take his accent seriously in a scary story but in a way it makes him sound ignorant um, innocent taken abuse of so it's not a thing from here is there anything else oh hell no we will look at this first oh hello this we have seen before Not here. This. So we're looking for Pisces around the edge. We got Gemini Virgo. Yes, all there. Um, am I looking for free items to place in these free? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is stupid. So, one, two, three, four, five. Because we're going so eight and two. So Eight in the middle, five, five in the, yeah, mid-range one. So eight in the center, five in the middle, two on the edge. Five. There we go. And I hope I don't regret it. Oh, that can't be good. What have you done, Emily? Oh, I see. 
a way has opened. And he said there were two ways. One is a contract in the Dark Man's palace. And what is the other way? He did not say. Uh, temple, not palace. But this feels highly dangerous. Find a way inside the sunken temple. Um, this does not feel safe. What is not very detailed, not something I can interact with? And the scary eclipse. This looks like the kind of area that may be littered with enemies and may require some serious firepower. This also looks like a ridge that I may not be able to descend from. But I might be able to get a nice view of the desert below. So there do appear to be lights shining the way for me. How delightful. Am I going to need to run back this way in a hurry? I don't know. But it feels as if I am not doing something very safe. No, I no, it's just strict. There's blood on that ledge. <coughs> Thought I heard a few dangerous sounds as I descended. So I am walking on sand, but I thought I heard a as I came down. No, it's just the shadow on the edge of that rock that looks like the back of a head. Two, no, all three stones appear to be illuminated. Now, can I? Probably not. No, I can't go that way. Okay. There is something in the middle. Looks like there's a spade leaning up against it. How am I doing for... I have a sledgehammer. All right, we have our first hint of violence. And I'm inclined to try and... Um, I imagine that spade may signify our way in. The carvings might mean something if we, we were need to get down there somehow. Yep, yep, noted. I see a couple of spades. Uh, we probably want some kind of rope. Look at this. Yeah, we want something we can tie to this rope. That we do not currently have in our possession. They don't appear to be any enemies just yet. And there's a camp over there, which would probably be a good place to search for supplies. It would also be a good place... That bush rustling the wind is very loud. A good place to find 
foes, if those foes are the animated corpses of dead men who've been here for some time, appearing as those creatures we run into so much. I'd like to say, yeah, this game doesn't have a massive amount of enemy variety, but in a way that works, because when we do get the ever so slightly different ones, it makes them stand out from the crowd quite significantly. Okay, there's a lot of sparks around that smoke. Now, those spades could not be interacted with. Yes, I see the rope, don't worry. Those spades could not be interacted with to be picked up. Okay, we've got bullets for the machine gun. Excellent. Beyond the Nile Valley. The temple of Nephron Ka lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Okay, either we're going to have to do that to get in to the middle of the temple, or we're going to have to close all of these avenues to shut down the dark light from the light of the trapezohedron. Rope, a key item. Excellent. I do not yet see anything else here. Um, I'd like to say I have a slight issue with the way this game handles its save files. Instead of saving the game where and when I save it, it instead seems to back up the last autosave as a manual save meaning that a tiny little bit of progress can be lost and need to be redone. And I believe that is entirely intentional. It's a very strange way of doing it. I've never had another game do this before. And I wonder if it's to do with the way they handle their save games. Or the... Oh, shit. Are you going to... Okay, they fly off. That's great. I still live. I don't get attacked. I don't waste ammunition. That's another time when we've seen ancient powerful monsters. Hmm. We don't have to combat everything directly. They have their own alien plans. Okay, you can do this, Emily. You can, but perhaps that should be part of the next episode. Or I should just continue now. Okay, we have a constellation.
of a rope fell down. We will not leave by that way. It's the constellation Taurus. The big star is Aldebaran. Something to do with the dark man. Let's take a while to survey the chamber. A canopic jar with a tentacle on top. Okay, we're two thirds of the way towards this forbidden knowledge. Appear to be the case. Okay, this I will not touch just yet. I see blue, I see blue, I see a connection. And I have a horrible feeling that in order to progress, we will have to set up some kind of dark deal. But oh, another blue doorway. So they will probably both open at the same time. Enemies may emerge from both or one of them. I see a ruined door, for which I cannot pass, and presumably another one, but this one, no, I think it's, it's blocked as well. Another empty container, and yes, that is completely blocked off. Clearly they want some kind of interaction here. I've seen this in a dream, but as a shallow pit of darkness. This is definitely where the contract is hidden, but how do I get to it? Probably by lighting up every one of these points. By going through doors and exploring part of the temple. Once again, the choice has been removed. We were told there were two things we could do, and then only told what one of them were. Please, game, don't make me regret this too much. time they attacked us. And that should have probably been machine gun bait. So we got blue lines of power coming down through the hands of two statues. Ugh. So it comes from the main statue to that one. Bounces off up there somewhere. I suspect we may need to realign things. Yeah, that needs to be shifted, doesn't it? And this one is also not lining up. Well then, we have a doorway there which... ...seems... ...to have closed once again. There's no lever on this side of the statue. In which case we appear to have only one avenue of progress. That hardly inspires confidence. Very steep stairs. And an area that is probably all but safe. Another empty box? 
Yes, the cat boxes are all empty. This one cannot even be interacted with. And we have a hurlable object implying some kind of enemy is nearby. That's a lot of blood, girl. This is probably bad news. This, the horizon. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph that I will probably need to use here. Is it possible that there will be... Okay, uncrouch and pull. I think this one moves. I think so too. Now the light is gone. Ooh, Emily, that can't be good. Continue your search into the temple where all light goes out. All hope is to be lost. This crumbling edifice buried deep beneath the sand that looks important. Okay, it's more decorative. It's not sockets to insert anything into. So this gives me access to both sides of the Great Hall. Get off me, you foul creature! There was a second. Mercifully, a non-fatal seeming shot to the wing seems to have rendered it lifeless. Okay, so we got a lens here. It's missing. Uh, so if we can send one to... Another empty cat box. Again, I'm not sure what this obsession with empty containers is in games at the moment. Is it to give a sense of frustration as we search, to increase the sense of, sense of searching? I do not know for certain. A throwable object, all fine. I wouldn't want to try and use a throwing object on those creatures. So with this, I can presumably bounce it. Am I taking it off the statue to put somewhere else? Mm. 
this feels as if a somewhat thorough exploration is required before any meddling. Okay, that pickaxe looks much more modern than the rest of this place. Children of the Dark Sun, part of a Lagniap. Which one? Unspeakable cults. So these are mostly forbidden knowledge. So far the only one that's had a gameplay effect so has been unlocking the shotgun. It would almost be nice to see some more of them have gameplay effects as well. Something tells me I can crouch and sneak through there. Oh, really? Oh, hello. Um, I can't take that one. But I can probably direct light onto it. From the one that's already pointed at the statue. Now this, I don't need to go under here. Because presumably... I can get here by going the other way. The fact that I'm given this option implies that might not be the case, however. This is the beam I should probably direct to the head of the statue. I'm not going to do that just yet, although the game has saved as I approached well, as I passed that light beam. This so far feels like a fairly straightforward puzzle. Directing the lights to the places they need to go. So the question is, will there be a way from here to climb up to the level above over there? You know, to reach the other side of that blockage. Now where would I place this? Oh. There are three points on his crown. That could be targets. So is this, yes, this is the crawling space, but I might not need, unless in an emergency. So, we have three beams. We have the point on the top of his crown. We have a doorway over here. You know what? If we get a lens and we can bring it here and place it there to open that doorway. Do we need to be shining a light into a lens to release it? And if we've got two, no, we've just got, all right. I mean, it might be nice to get all three pointed at the... Hmm. That's not really what I'm doing though, is it? It's...
Through ancient mechanisms, it is said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. So, I think I need to shine all three beams. But then how would I do this? I only have one of these. Okay, we don't want to do that. We may have created a problem. Yep. Get off! So obviously what I need to do now is uh, inspect the damp... Oh, it's not quite lined up. To go see if that has unlocked this. Why not? In theory, the doorway down there has now opened. And I should seek it out. Because those monsters came from somewhere. an additional lens for here and an additional one for there. These I do not have and that door has not opened. I wonder if certain doors only open to emit monsters and cannot be traversed. I'm coming down here to see if I can retrieve this disc. If I can, And it looks like I may be able to. No. Yeah. Yeah. Be interesting if the game's opening track of all the cat box keeping track of all the cat boxes I've opened and then once I do a certain thing all the cat boxes that I've opened have like cat skeletons come out and attack me and it'd be, or it'd be like you've opened all nine cat boxes cats only have nine lives you are dead now automatically so if I could shine all three in here instead that would be great but for that 
Okay. This has not opened. This doesn't seem to be do above the statue. Up there, maybe. So, I need to shine this somewhere to get a reaction. That might not be it. Over there to that door, it may be. I'm not sure the angle quite works. Shining it towards the statue did cause the beasts to appear, or even emerge, yeah. and assault me. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to have particularly progressed anything just yet. And if that one is anything to go by, then shining the beam at the correct location will cause the beam to go out, to fade, to cease existing. It also seems to ignite the drapes, and possibly even burn pillars. These are very damaging and I need to be careful where I point them. The music just cut out completely there as I went through the door. <laughs> um, wood shining off... Right, so, what am I going to do here? That will grant me access to another one of these. Okay, so it can't go all the way down to the floor. It worked. Oh, uh, what? Okay, so touching it is good. I wonder if these two doors, then, connect up. That was some kind of serpent. Worked. So the boarded up door is boarded up no more. Also, walking under those is probably not a healthy idea. Now, there's another boarded up door. And one that is completely open. It's another cat box, which is empty. And adds. Okay, let's swap back again to our sledgehammer. Come on. Come on, girl. You don't seem to be swapping. Hello. Where would we... Up there, perhaps?
Okay, it's already in place. Well now, what have we here? The star. Excellent. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. I mean, I wouldn't really call that a hieroglyph. Also, look at that. It seems important, don't you think? I want my sledgehammer back. <laughs> this adds is good for chipping away at things, the sledgehammer more for mighty powerful blows. It's just a load more answers. My sledgehammer appears to be gone for a bit. Oh, and that would have let me see through into that chamber beyond. To know that I could go smash through that barrier, perhaps. If I go up there and equip this star lens on one of the two remaining ones, I don't know where to point it. Presumably at the constellation. So there or there, one of those two. Star over there blatantly. And I'll point that at here. Whereas this is the a weeping eye, we'll call that, which is presumably through this door over here. So why don't I go get that? That dropped really quickly in that case. Whoa. Let's get a reload here as well. Now this is an area where we're not going to be getting many bullets. And let's heal, because while we can probably take another hit or two, healing items have been fairly plentiful. up and down. Let's go up first, because we don't know how deep this goes, but we know the surface is a limited height above us. This looks a little like the Weeping Eye motif. Okay, another adds. Puts us back here. And why not? This one's healthy. That one stays there for us to pick up, but our sledgehammer is sadly gone. We should perhaps sneak, sneak ever so slightly. Not that it seems to help that much. These creatures seem to be overtly aware of us if we're close enough for combat. It seems to help more for situations when they're not as close nearby. I see an obvious obstacle. Oh, okay. The lever with... Oh, this is built for battle. Bullets and a cat box. A cat box with something in. An oddity. Okay, well, I'm coming back for this. Um, for now, I should explore ahead here, though. Ooh, we have another one. Okay, that 
is the thing we need. More answers. Which means this one through here may be a trap. I am, however, highly inclined to try. More bullets. Where would you point this? Through there? What is through there? Nothing. So where else would we point this? This feels intriguing. somewhat important that we have done this. It may have sent bounced off the mirror up to the statue perhaps. The main statue of the Black Pharaoh. Or it's been redirected back down to this. To this it would seem. So where are we? That's a stupid question. Might as well get a fresh ants. We are not dropping down there. It looks like death. The underworld. Well then. That looks like exactly where that great drop leads. Let's head back up and see if we now have a fresh beam coming from the statue overhead. I would not be surprised if that were not the case. Not the case indeed. However, we are getting more autosaves, some more signs of progress. Oh! The gems on his crown are lighting up. We just need a third one now. we can shine. Maybe we have to shine both on there. Shining them upon the statue did not seem to do anything. So it seems we are aiming. For that pit. Pit of despair where Jeremy's doom lurks. So if we go for the star rather than the underworld. That's not where I wanted it to go, but it's obvious. I did not want that to go there, I wanted it to go to the star down below. Really only one come out? <sighs> we cannot. 
descend further. Meaning then. And then we shine that one down below. This one still has power, so we could still redirect that. But that seems to be used mostly for unlocking the doors in the Great Chamber. Oh, I see. When the pebbles bounce, it's to give the impression of the flying monsters taking off, leaping up into the air, so that it looks like their feet as you're looking around corners. Now, do we? run towards your doom. This feels like yet another trap set for you by the Dark Man. If we can now shine this light upon the star, suddenly very safe. That can't be safe. It's a trap, Emily. Okay, so how do we get out of here after we do this? Does the Dark Man appear and cast us out again, or something else? Well, we don't seem to have much choice now, do we, so... An Atame. That'll be part of a lightning app, surely. Acknowledge psychological trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? Huh? It doesn't seem like... Ooh. Are they going to carry her out at all? They are! Just pray they do not drop you, woman. And 
far, far away they fly to chapter four. There's apparently a bug that can cause a big crash when you start chapter four, so hopefully I'll be okay and that won't happen. Although that's a very black screen and I may have spoken too soon. I'm going to give the game a little while to... There we go. Oh, Jeremy. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. I think I know where we are. Emily? What are you doing? Detective. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual <laughs> tonight. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. I can believe that. Detective? Have you encountered... I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author. Perosi, the singer. Mr. Waits, the clerk. Mr. Chance, the gardener. They're all missing. No, I mean... Have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange? Been anywhere else? What are you trying to tell me, Emily? Are you in some kind of danger? Hmm. Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the police to take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, Detective. I'll find your uncle, Miss Harwood. Just stay out of trouble. I wonder how this plays out differently of playing him. The Dark Man's Contract. Probably very important. It looks blank. Derseto, Parents and Identification. Hieroglyphs, Jeremy H. Acknowledge psychological trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit. Temper manic behavior. Jeremy has been quite manic. He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, temper manic behavior. What else? Ah, uh, this seems like Jeremy's voice. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the heartwood coice. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet doing so would be the doom of Derisetto. Let this coice of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, O oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only he said the sacrificial coice. dagger <laughs> may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this case of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Hmm. So we are at the attic at the top right where the piano fell from something tells me we can't go back in here we have a locked gate nope it's a and the cultists here in Derseto have got something nasty planned so here's the thing right they're planning to summon great evil to this world and the dark man promises to contain the evil 
to this little area as opposed to destroying everything here so he offers safety offers security but it feels like a trick a trap i don't believe we can trust him i do believe now wait it's getting rough out there if they're all cultists all in on it that means for little girl as well and i did say there were possible ramifications for her being a character from a second game in the original series because if they do remake something inspired by the second game. You know, she can't be introduced for the first time again. However, it's important to note that a lot of things have been removed. We have the sacrificial dagger. A dagger swathed in the grip of two sleek snakes found buried in the sunken temple along with the dark man's contract. This isn't really an Atame. An Atame would have a, a wavy blade, like a flamberge, which the snakes, the serpents give the impression of it, but they're also like the caduceus, the wand of Hermes, which is the sign of the medical profession. So we use the dagger to heal the wickedness. I wonder how much choice an agency will have regarding the end of the game. So we've got two of three here, one of three. Uh, that may have been in the swamp. This probably in the tomb we were in. Great Depression, all the world's a stage, completely missed this stuff. A thousand young. I have a feeling we're nearing the end of the game. And also, looking at the time, it's nearly four o'clock in the morning. Probably nearing the end of this episode. The broken glasses feel like I should have found them by now. Prisoner of Ice. Maybe there's a lot more to this fourth chapter. That third chapter seemed relatively short compared to the second. Interesting. There are very few of these. So the Pirates of Ponsha train. We've had nothing to do with them at all, right? The theatre troupe. I imagine we may see Roof when delving into this. Um, wasn't this at the top of the list before? up here hmm and a compass so compass some form of canopic jar well not really a canopic jar more of just an urn uh, a wooden cage with moss hanging off it i think we may see the great monster from the swamp again we might never see it again, but it, it felt like it was building up to a, an actual fight with it later on. Um, stuff to do with a the theatre and the Amateur Dramatic Society. A bag of something and... That could be cloth, it could be bits of debris. An artist palette. It feels like there's a lot of things we have yet to interact with. But that will have to wait until the very next episode. I'll bid you all farewell for now, as the game is getting very dramatic, and I shall save the game. I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. But for now, I'll say goodbye, have a nice time, and see you all soon. Cheerio, everyone. Don't let the nasty monsters in Del Seto get into your head. Stay strong. <laughs>